Well, it was certainly a storm. Blizzard 2011 will be going down in the record books as the third biggest Chicago snowstorm ever recorded. 20.2 inches of snow, biggest snowstorm I've ever seen. I was around for 78 and 79, but I was just a small little girl. And I remember my grandpa building a very big snowman, but I don't remember conditions like that. And it was worse than the 67 snowfall, even though it received 23 inches of snow, because those wind gusts were just so bad. Now, I left the studio, WGN, around 12.30 last night and headed out. I only have like four miles to go. And as I got outside, I saw how it was just that snow was blowing and how much or how, how high those uh, snow drifts were. And I actually was a little bit nervous, but I made it home. I did get stuck once. And then I was uh, rocking back and forth, kind of moving that car back and forth in order to get out of that snow rut. And uh, 20 minutes later, I did. And I was only like a 100 yards away from my place. So... That was pretty uh, crazy. So let's get right to what the storm has done. It has brought in so much snow in the area. So it is 2011 blizzard, the biggest third, biggest blizzard ever Chicago has seen with 20.2 inches, strongest wind gusts. We had gusts over 70 miles per hour. And now behind this uh, low that brought in watches and warnings across 41 or 42 states, we have the coldest temperatures in two years. Just wanted to show you some snowfall totals. This is in Villa Park, about 23 inches. Westchester, there's O'Hara, Batavia, around 20, and Evanston, around 20. More um, other amounts, 23 in Racine, 21, a little bit over 21 in Woodstock, Midway, um, you've got 20.9, then um, bottoming out the uh, DeKalb at 18. Wind gusts were a factor. Like we said, we, it was one of the sh strongest wind gusts that we have seen, 70 miles per hour at the lakeshore. Burns Harbor, 67. Waukegan, 63. O'Hare at 61. And Aurora, 59. So right now, some of the area is seeing some sunshine bright out there, for sure, as that sun reflects off that new fresh snow pack. But we still have some lake effect snow going on into northwestern Indiana. Those winds are out of the north-northwest at about 15 to almost 20 miles per hour. And wind gusts are a little bit more than that. Strongest wind gust right now is in Gary at 29. Now, there's still plenty of watches and warnings or advisories out there. Uh, all this pink area, that's a wind chill advisory. Um, Chicago, however, is under a wind chill watch overnight tonight. And in the blue, those are uh, wind advisories, not wind chill advisories, just wind advisories. So there's still some strong wind through the Appalachians and the Ohio Valley. So what does it feel like right now if you're shoveling outdoors? Four degrees in Chicago, eight in Milwaukee, four below in Dubuque. And look at all that cold Arctic air to the north that is going to just continue to push into our area. So what we're looking at overnight tonight, anywhere from 15 to 25 below. And then tomorrow morning, uh, it is going to be very bright out there, but temperatures are going to be very cold, anywhere from 10 to 20 below. So we're going to keep temperatures below um, below zero wind chill values will be anywhere from 10 to around 25 below, and then temperatures start to moderate. Now, with all this news, all this crazy weather, i got to tell you, Phil did not see a shadow. So, hello, we've got an early spring, but, you know, don't bet your life on it, that's for sure. So wind chill, watch tonight. Clear skies, tumbling temperatures, 9 to 15 is your overnight low, 9 to 15 below zero. But wind chill values will be around 15 to 25 as those winds still are gusty out of the west-northwest. And then a cold blustery, but a very bright Thursday, 8 to 18. Winds out of the west-southwest at 10 to 15 and still some gusts. And then temperatures moderate, lower 20s on Saturday, upper 20s on Saturday. It's like spring break around here. And a few light snow showers or flurries, 25 on Sunday with a few flurries. And it gets cold again, Tuesday and Wednesday. I hope it really is the last of the cold air. I'm getting tired. I'm over it already. Come on, spring. And Phil, you better be right. I'm telling you, seriously. I'm meteorologist Duffy Atkins in the WGN Weather Center, where it is definitely weather.